a Fashion Crossroads fans. It is Wednesday night wardrobing live coming to you from downtown Casper, Wyoming, Fashion Crossroads Incorporated. And this is part two of our Dress Your Body Type series. Um, so last week we talked about the fundamentals. If you missed that video, you can watch it on YouTube, um, Fashion Crossroads Inc or you can uh, read the blog post on it as well, which is in WordPress, Talking Trends, um, and uh, go back and catch that, and there's some really great information that you're gonna wanna have um, that, that feeds into what we're gonna be talking about for the next two weeks. So tonight I'm uh, doing uh, three shapes. We are doing pear, diamond, and round. And I have um, been using the Fine Art of Dressing by Mar Margot Tartarati, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, as my research for this blog post. And one of the things that she does that I think is really creative is she compares body types to master works of art. So for example, um, she compares the pear shape to Modigliani, and um, because he was prone to picturing women who were pear shaped, who had that small slender neck, small slender shoulders, a slender waist, and then fuller um, hips, uh, butt, and thighs. So that's really great, and what that makes me think about is just um, to keep in mind, I think it's really important for um, we women, is that the ideal has changed again and again and again throughout centuries, and all you have to do is go through a museum of art and see the way women are painted um, and portrayed, and to see that we've gone through periods where we have revered pear shapes, we've gone through periods where we've revered round shapes, we've gone through periods where we've revered um, slender, almost uh, waif shapes. Um, so society changes in its perspectives, and I think that that's really important. And so I don't want anybody to think that anything that I'm saying is about covering up or um, you having a deficit in any way in your form or your shape, but more just ways that you can de-emphasize parts of your figure that maybe bother you. Um, you know, right now, body con or body confident is so popular. It's this idea that, you know, you just show your curves. And, you know, and that's great if that's what you wanna do, but not everybody is comfortable with that. And so the things that we're gonna talk about tonight are really about um, helping you to emphasize your positives and de-emphasize maybe your problem areas in your figure. So the first um, one that we're gonna do is the pear-shaped um, body type, which I talked about just a second ago, but to review, it is defined by a small neck narrow, often sloped shoulders, a small bust, a defined waist, and full hips, thighs, and rear. So definitely you have this kind of, if you imagine a pair, you have this very small top that extends out into a larger bottom. So um, key, key figure balancing actions. And that is exactly what we're trying to do with these um, ways of dressing your body is to balance your figure so that um, we are able to, um, again, uh, if you're really, really small on the top and wider through the hips, we can balance the top and the hips out so that you look more symmetrical. Um, and that's what we're talking about. So how to balance out your figure. So for the pear shape, you wanna draw attention to the upper part of your body with color and style, because that is gonna be your smallest part of your body. So you wanna put those great color flattering, complexion flattering colors up next to your face. You wanna have necklines that draw attention, um, shoulder styles that draw attention, because you're generally gonna have a nice slim neck 
and a small upper body. Um, you want, you're going to want to add width to your shoulders, especially if your shoulders are sloping, but likely because your shoulders are smaller than your hips and you want to have that be more even. Um, so you're going to want to balance out the shoulder to hip ratio and you're going to want to accent your waist without cinching your waist. And that's really important because if you have wider hips and thighs, if you cinch your waist, if you think about it and you pull this in, it's just going to emphasize this. So you want to hint at that waist, but not, um, not really make it defined. And then you want to draw attention away from your hips and your thighs. So ways to do this. First and foremost, make sure your bottoms do not fit too close um, and uh, to your hips and thighs. So you don't want them clinging or you don't want super tight bottoms that are going to be very tight across your hips and thighs. That's not going to be comfortable anyway. You want to choose pencil skirts that get slimmer towards your calves. I'm going to show you that here in a second. And that is to keep you from looking like a box. So if you wear, if you're wider in the hips and you wear a straight skirt that goes straight down, you're going to look like a rectangle. So you want to create a diagonal like that. And that's what a pencil skirt will do. Um, you want to choose either firm, lined, or tailored fabrics or soft and flowy fabrics with a nice drape. You want to avoid lightweight and inexpensive fabrics, especially over your hips, butt, and thighs because the lightweight fabrics are not going to do you any benefit at all. You're going to choose uh, darker neutral colors for your bottom. Again, the part that you want to de-emphasize, we talked about last week, that's where you put the darker or more neutral colors. The part that you want to emphasize, that's where you put the brighter colors. You're going to choose wider necklines like boat necks and cowl necks that can be worn over the shoulder to give the illusion of broader shoulders. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Wider boat necklines will um, give the optical illusion that your shoulders are wider, again helping to balance out your hips. And it will draw attention away from sloping shoulders if you have those. You can also use shoulder pads, which you can still get online, um, to help, again, control that shoping, uh, sloping shoulder, you want to avoid drop shoulder shirts. So shirts that have the seam that comes down over the top of the shoulder because that's just going to emphasize a sloping uh, shoulder. You're going to want to avoid large tote bags um, and crossbody bags that hang right at your hips. And if you think about it, if I'm carrying a handbag or I have a handbag slung across my body, and it's sitting right at my hip line and my hips and thighs and butt are bigger, then that's just going to emphasize the widest part of my body. So instead, I'm going to want to have a shoulder bag that's going to sit up in this smaller part of my body. And then you're going to want to use accessories and colors that will draw the eye to your face. All right, so let's look at some of those. So great example, this is a great example of a pencil skirt. So you can see that this has um, a straight cut that narrows to the bottom. So when you wear this, it gives that almost a diamond, inverted diamond shape. And that's going to really help a pear shape to de-emphasize the wideness around the middle. So that's a pencil skirt. They can be in short length or long length. Either one is great. Typically, uh, pear-shaped people do have nice legs. So if you have nice legs, you're gonna wanna do the pencil, short, uh, pencil skirt short that shows your legs. If you know your legs are thicker all the way down, then you're gonna wanna do the longer pencil skirts that are gonna um, come down um, a little bit lower on your leg. You're gonna wanna choose um, pants with narrower bottoms. So this is a great kind of narrow straight leg pant. So you're going to want to choose a pant that's going to give you enough room in your hips and your thighs so you're not pulling the pant across your butt or your hips and that it's fitting nice, that it's not pulling across your thighs, but also has that narrow bottom. Again, because if you think about it, if you're 
bigger here and you wear wide leg pants, what's that gonna do? It's gonna make you look again like a box. It's going to make you look square rather than like this, okay? So if you're pear-shaped for your bottom half, think always trying to create this kind of a look. So narrow pants are gonna be your friend. Um, another option is you can go with a fuller leg pant if you, you know, if you struggle with a pant like that being too tight, you can do a fuller leg pant that tapers down to the bottom. So this is simply a uh, lantern pant, has this fun little hemline at the bottom that tapers in. So you've got the wide leg trend with the tapered in bottom, which is going to be perfect for a pear shaped body because you're getting the trend without having a wide um, cropped leg or a wide palazzo leg that's just gonna emphasize your hips. Um, the um, hinting at your waist but not cinching your waist, tailored blouses are gonna be a, your friend. You're generally small in the top, so a blouse is a good choice for you. You're not struggling with you know, buttons bulging and things like that because generally you have smaller, you're smaller through the top of your body. So something that has darts like this that comes in at the waist, that is gonna be a benefit to you uh, because it's going to give you shape without requiring you to cinch your waist with a belt. Um, boat necks, this is a great example of a boat neck. So this top and also this top, those are good examples. So you can see this one's a little scoopier. Um, this one, however, has a drop shoulder and so does this one. So you're gonna wanna choose a top that has a shoulder seam, but a wider neckline like this. And again, those wider necklines are going to help you balance out those uh, smaller sloping shoulders. Um, another good style for, for this body type, and it's also a good style for the next body type, is Empire Waist. Um, Empire Waist tops, dresses, maxi dresses, uh, they come in a lot of different options. They're going to cinch here at your rib cage where you are smaller and give you extra room through your hips and your thighs where you are larger and that is going to be a flattering shape for you. They're easy to find in the summer. This is Simply's, um, what is it, what do they call this one? This is Simply's striped sleeveless reversible dress with their empire waist. Okay, so um, let's see if I, so best styles, empire waist, dresses and tops, three quarter length jackets, or tops, um, so you again, you're gonna want, keep in mind that you never want a hemline or a demarcation on your body to hit where you are the widest. So if your hips and your thighs are wide, you want a jacket that's gonna come down beyond where that wideness is. So at the first part where your leg starts narrowing, that's where you want the jacket to hit. So for example, we have this cute little blazer that's a little bit longer. So it's gonna come down over a wider um, hip, hip and thigh and rear area. Um, tapered skirts, which I showed you. Um, if you're short, you might want to choose tops that hit your hip bone. So you're either gonna want to hit above where you're widest or below where you're widest, but definitely not right across. So sometimes if you're shorter and you do a really long uh, jacket like this, it can make you appear even shorter. So then in that case, a hip bone or a cropped top is a really great option for you. And that again is gonna just depend on you and how you are, uh, how you are proportioned. All right, in my blog post I have some examples of looks that um, that other looks besides these ones that are good for this body type. Um, next is the diamond shape. So similar to the pear shape, the biggest thing with the diamond shape is that it they generally don't have a defined waist. 
So they are generally a little bit thicker through the waist. So you still have this kind of a, of a shape where you're, um, you're slim through the upper body, um, but different. the difference between the diamond and the pear is that the diamond will have a little bit thicker waist. So um, diamond shape defined by slim shoulders, generally a small bust, thick around the waist, full hips and thighs, just like the pear. Key figure balancing actions, focus attention on your torso, again, because that's where you're the smallest, above your waist, again, so empire waists are gonna be really good for you. Balance out, again, that shoulder to hip ratio, just like I talked about with the pear shape and draw attention away from your lower body. So very similar, um, those two shapes are very similar as far as what you want to accomplish. Um, but the diamond shape, because they're thicker through the waist, you might struggle with non-elastic waists just being not comfortable because they're too tight or binding on you. So elastic waists are gonna be your friend. Um, you still want to choose tapered cuts that narrow toward the lower leg to keep from looking boxy. You want to avoid maxi lengths um, and you want to avoid palazzo pants. Both pear and diamond want to avoid the palazzo pants and I've already talked about why. Um, again, you want your jacket hem lines to hit below the broadest part of your hips. And you want to make sure that none of your bottoms are pulling across your butt or across your hips. So when you get those little creases here or here, that's a sign that what you're, what you're trying to wear is too small through your hip and your rear. And you may find that to really get a good fit, you have to get it to fit your hips and get the waist tailored. It may not be possible to find um, the exact right proportions where you have all the fullness you need through your hips and your thighs and your rear, but it isn't like two inches too big in your waist. Um, okay, of course, a same as the pear shape where dark or neutral bottoms um, accent your slim torso. You're going to want to choose colors that flatter your skin tone. Um, if you aren't sure about that, I did a series last month on determining your color palette. You can find those videos on the YouTube page as well. You're going to want to avoid stiff fabrics and choose drapier fabrics instead. We talked a little bit about that last um, and I don't, I, I really avoided picking stiff fabrics, but simply, and actually let's do, is a great example of a drapey fabric. So you can see it's soft, it kind of flows with the body, it it's, um, has its natural kind of wrinkling as it flows with the body. That's a draped fabric. They're generally gonna be heavier weight they're generally gonna be more expensive because with that weight, you're paying more for the fabric, but with that weight, you get a fabric that doesn't cling, but instead is very flattering to your body. Stiff fabrics like um, really like starched fabrics or um, fabrics that are meant to stand away from the body like starch cotton or something like that are not gonna be flattering for these two body types because um, they're gonna add extra girth where you don't want it. So very important to choose those draped fabrics on the bottom. Um, again, this body type is gonna wanna do boat necks, cowl necks. Cowl necks I don't have an example of because it's more of a winter neckline, but you know the, the big drapey cowls. Again, anything like that is gonna help uh, give the appearance of having broader shoulders. And then again, you want to avoid handbags that sit um, at your hip. So um, a great um, example of a bag that doesn't sit at your hip is a shoulder bag. So you can see that this is stopping before the point where I would generally 
be expanding out if I had a pear-shaped body. So this is a great example of a shoulder bag. You can also get uh, bags that have options. So you can carry it like this. You know, under most circumstances, if you really, really need to, you can crossbody it, but you can see what I'm talking about. You, you, you crossbody a handbag, it's sitting right at your widest part. So as you're walking, this is what is being emphasized. So that's the idea with this. So again, as the shoulder bag, it's up high, it's stopping right before we get to that widest part. Alrighty, so best styles to choose from, Empire Waist dresses. This was the Empire Waist with the higher waist, longer tops with narrow bottoms. So this body type is gonna do well with like tunics and leggings or tunics and narrow pants. So tunics are gonna be your friend in this body type because you wanna get that longer um, length that goes down below where you're the widest, but then if you wear wide leg bottoms, you're gonna look like a box. So that's where it's so important to wear a narrow bottom to balance out those longer length tunics. Um, if you're not a legging fan, you can just do a narrow legged pant as well, um, which is a great option too. Uh, trapezoid dresses, which are the triangular shaped dresses that fit tight from here up. And then from here at your upper rib cage, they start to go out in a triangle. Those are gonna be great also for both pear and diamond shaped bodies. Uh, Simply has a great trapezoid dress. We have that online and in store. Um, layering. So this body type can get away with um, kind of um, creating a waist by wearing a belt that accents a waist, but then wearing a jacket over the top. Because again, you don't wanna cinch your waist and let that be the accent piece because that's just gonna emphasize your hips. But if you add a belt that hints at a waist and then you wear a jacket over the top of that, that's going to give you the impression of having a waist while still balancing out your uh, wider uh, body type through the hips and the rear. Alrighty. Um, and again, I have some great examples in the blog post of other examples that you can look at. Um, all right, the last shape is the round shape. This is defined by a fuller neck, so thicker in the neck, sometimes shorter, um, larger bust, so these are your busty ladies, wider in the rib cage, um, sometimes rounded in the back, so a little bit hunched, um, forward, not necessarily, larger in the tummy generally, and then narrow in the hips and slender legs. So this body type holds all their weight from here to here. And then once, actually from here to here, and then once you get to the hips, they slim down and then they have narrow legs. So these are the ladies that look amazing in leggings, and especially with those oversized draped tops because that's perfect for that body type. So your key figure balancing actions, um, make your neck look slimmer and longer with the diagonal line. We talk about that, I talked about that in last week's video, The Fundamentals. So if you missed that, go back and watch that. But essentially there's the idea that the steeper the diagonal, the more slimming and elongating your neck is going to be. Um, draw attention away from your round middle. Bring balance to your upper and lower torso because your upper torso is probably going to be a little bit wider and then you're gonna to start to narrow as you get to your hips. And then draw attention to your slender legs. So focus on straight skirts as opposed to full skirts to draw attention to your lower hips and legs. Choose pants that have a straight or narrow leg. So we kind of have looked at some of those before, but again, this kind of a leg is gonna be great for you. Um, a legging is gonna be great for you. Um, this kind of a pant, 
The stovepipe leg is going to be great for you. I love this one with the cute little zipper. And this whole idea of bigger top, a smaller bottom, that is what you want to do with the round figure. And if you are um, really busty, sometimes blouses don't work for you buttoned up, but you can always wear a loose tank and, a, and an over blouse with that skinny leg, that's gonna be a great look for you. Just make sure the blouse comes, looks like it will come together. Like you don't want it to look like it's not, um, you couldn't button it up. And you definitely wanna make sure your tank is loose so you're not emphasizing your stomach. Um, you're also going to want to choose dolman, raglan, and kimono sleeves. So those are going to be like this type of a sleeve that has um, not only wider um, sleeves for your arms, but also a triangular shape here to allow more room for your bust, more room for your rounded torso, more room for your belly. So things like this with the, this is uh, a new thing from Simply. It is their, it's a cute little overtop, they call it the mesh boxy tunic. So we have all the pieces and parts here, right? So we have the longer length to get over, you know, the, the hips. We have the raglan sleeve um, to give more room through the bust. And then we've got it um, layered in a monochromatic way that's going to de-emphasize the top of your body. So you take something like this, as long as this length is not too long for you, pair it up with a narrow leg, that's going to look great on that rounded body type. Another great option are tops like this that have a little bit of a flowy kind of fit. Um, you vented backs so that you again giving plenty of room for your bust um, not getting overly long and then again pairing that up with a narrow leg going to look extremely pretty um, this is another great straight leg pant um, you can get away with the straight leg pants in this body type. You're not going to want to go to a wide leg pant because you want to emphasize the slenderness of your legs. But a great draped straight leg pant is going to be good with all three of these body types. Alrighty, draw attention to your lower body. You can wear this type of body. Is You are the lady who can wear prints on the bottom and colors on the bottom because you're slim through the hips, slim through the legs. So don't hesitate to wear prints and to wear colors on the bottom. You're the opposite of the pair in the diamond. You're gonna wanna have the neutral monochromatic colors up here, but then you can get exciting with your bottom. So feel free to do that. Um, larger busted women should wear larger prints. I don't think you have to wear huge prints, but you don't wanna wear little bitty ditzy prints because the larger you are, the larger print you should wear. You should match those two things together. And this body type, different than the other two body types, does want a crossbody because you are slender in that lower hip area. So you don't want a purse up here because that's where you're the thickest. You want a purse that's down here that's going to be uh, flattering um, and draw attention to the slimmest part of your body. And then no belts for the round figure type. Again, you're thicker in the waist. It's not your uh, best feature. Don't try to belt. Don't try to emphasize your waist. Emphasize the bottom half of your body and those great legs that you have. Uh, best styles to choose from, tunics and narrow skirts. Again, anything that's going to show off your legs. Um, longer tops, Bermuda shorts are good with you, uh, good for you, again, because they're slim. Um, and slim cropped pants, flowy jackets are going to be good. Keep the neutrals, um, keep the emphasis down on the top of your body. 
And again, in the blog post, I have some examples of um, outfit styles that I think would be good for this body type. Okay, that is our video for today. Um, I have the phone turned around so that this looks like it's not backwards. <laughs> so um, I am going to flip it so that I can see if there are any questions. All right, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, so now is your chance to ask me questions if you have any so that I can try to answer them. Hello, Laura. Hello, Amy. Hello, Christy, Eileen. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jamie. Hi, um, Lisa. Welcome. Do you guys have any questions that I need that I can answer for you? While you're thinking about that, I'm going to talk about um, our live sale tomorrow. So Christy and I um, are gonna be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. We have a great collection from French Dressing to show you that um, is bright and summery, and I just love it. Has all the great trendy colors, um, and it is launching tomorrow at 8.30, just before the nine o'clock live show. So um, you guys are gonna have be the first, uh, the first ones to be able to buy from it. If you watch live, either during the live show or watch the replay, somewhere in the live sale, I will embed a promo code um, where you can save $15 off the two collections that we're featuring that day. So, um, and that's online only, that promo code, but you have to watch the live to find it. And that promo code is always uh, until nine o'clock at night. So if you miss the live at nine, catch it on your lunch break, catch it after work, you still have a chance to take advantage of that $15 off. Okay, alrighty, well, thank you for watching. If you um, wanna join us for coffee tomorrow, we will be here at 9 a.m. with some great, pretty things. Christy's doing a whole collection in green, beautiful um, chartreuse, lime green, um, so summery, I'm super, super excited. You're welcome, Sandra. Um, so if you can join us, join us tomorrow morning right here at Fashion Crashes. Talk to you later.